Hi everyone, today we're going to be teaching you how to make pineapple lay. Um, the material um, I'm going to be using today is a uh, 9mm wick rag, color curry, and 316 weave on, uh, colored light moss, and also 316 weave on, moss green, ruler, scissors, thread, and 5 inch doll needle and a little clipper here okay so <clears throat> first of all I'm gonna thread my needle and then I'm gonna measure approximately yard and a half okay and then I'm just gonna double it okay so that's just arm's length okay? just arm's length and then I'm gonna leave about three to four inch tail okay, and then double loop okay double loop and knot the end okay so the needle is ready okay so for the rig rack I'm gonna pre-cut about 14 inches okay each pineapple takes approximately 14 inches so I'm going to measure seven inch okay, and then I'll just double it And this approximately three inches, three to three and a half inches. But this you have to make angle cut, okay? Sharp angle, sharper the better. Okay. And you can measure tip to tip, three, three inches to three and a half inches, or you can just approximate, okay? Like that. Okay. And for one pineapple I'm gonna make I need three three pieces of moss ribbon and also I'm gonna need three pieces of light moss okay so one two three okay. so to sew this I'm gonna start with the pineapple body part first okay to make the body of the pineapple I'm gonna be I'm gonna sew mountain valley mountain valley seven times okay so here one two three four five six seven okay then i'm going to be sewing mountain only from underneath okay all the way so you sew as much as possible at the tip and the center of this mountain here and then as you sew you turn to make a little cuff okay so turn cuff okay. so so turn cuff okay so continue this all the way to the end Okay, so then this part here, you just snip off, okay? okay. And then this part, same thing, you just kind of snip it off a little bit here. Okay. okay, then I'm going to hold the bottom and the top like this, and then I'm going to pull my needle all the way to the end. Okay. So if I let go, Sometimes this part here me shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this clip here to hold it in place. So you squeeze the end and then you put it here. Okay. 
and then make sure this is double thread so make sure both thread is in one slit I mean the slot okay uh, try not to split as much as possible okay so then I'm gonna sew the leaf of the pineapple so it doesn't matter which color you start first with okay I'm going to loop this ribbon just like the awareness ribbon okay so um, what I do is I hold it like this and my left side keep it stationary then just bring the right side of the ribbon over okay and I loop it like that so let this um, the loop is too big then what you do is you just pull the end and the end piece of the ribbon to make it okay and then where the two ribbon meets that's where you're gonna sew okay so pull it out a little bit make it a little bit slanted and then this is where you sew right here like that okay and then I'm just gonna alternate the ribbon color so start with the uh, moss then next I'm going to do um, light moss okay so right here okay the loop doesn't have to be even okay and then just put right around circle okay so like that okay so so total I'm gonna put about six So you can do it this way, or you can just hold it up, um, up and down, and then do it this way. Whichever is easy for you, okay? Right around circle, okay. And again, I'm gonna hold this um, top and bottom like this, and then I'm going to pull all the way to the arm. Okay, so you just pull the bottom. Okay, all the way. Okay. Then I'm going to. Um, remove the clip and then, put it here like that, okay? and then I'm gonna put clip back on okay? like that okay so one pineapple is done okay and then you just repeat okay for cutting you may cut as you go and work off from the spool for each pineapple or you can cut about half a dozen worth of pineapple material but I would not recommend to cut entire spool because you may or may not need entire spool and plus um, you notice after a while the end part here is gonna start fraying so it's best to either work up from the spool or cut about six pieces at a time okay First of all, I'm going to take this clip off here, okay? and then I'm going to make a knot at the base, single knot, okay? close to the base as possible. Okay, so 
knot it right here. Okay, then if you want it extra secure, um, we can sew back and forth to connect two ends of the lathe, okay? So. This is 78 organza with satin and gold edge and I'm gonna cut about 10 inch piece for tie. Okay? So since this is this is kind of um, small, generally small uh, size diameter lay, um, instead of wrapping about eight times, I'm gonna do six times. So make smaller ball, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Cut, and then I'm going to cut both ends, angle cut, sharp angle, okay. on the other side, do the same thing, and make sure the um, center is about a little wider than 1 8, but um, smaller than quarter inch, okay? So do the same thing on the other side. And go cut. Then open and put it, uh, cut ends together to bring it to the center. Then you tie the center really tight. Okay. Then we're gonna open this from inside. As you open, twist down, twist up, twist down, twist up, twist down, up and down, okay? And do the same thing on the other side. Twist down, twist up, twist down, twist up, twist up and down, okay? Then you hold the tight piece and we'll just kind of move the balls around to make it even, yeah? There you go. And then cut the end, end of the ribbon by angle, okay? Prevents from fraying. So then where the two ends meet, where we uh, sew, that's where you're gonna put this bowl. Just tie it on, just regular knot. And of course, also cut the end of the ribbon angle. Okay, so voila, pineapple lay. Okay. So from here on, you just repeat the same sequence until you get your desired length. Okay, so mine is about 36 inch lay, and I finish it off with I finished off with uh, putting a little bow here. Okay, so. This is a really popular lay too, isn't it? Especially yes. for um, weddings where people want to give something like a token um, for guests. And then it's a very versatile lay or design because you can take one segment and we've seen customers make little earrings or just make a smaller version for coupes or bag charms. Um, yeah, it's a very popular design of ours and we hope you, that you have a fun time making it. Mahalo! Until we meet again. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.